Hi there. Have you ever wondered if all of this is actually real? How do you know that you're not dreaming right now? Or could it be that maybe you're a little character in some giant game of Sims? Um, maybe the real you is asleep somewhere or in a coma and your brain is plugged into a machine uh, that is simulating a real experience with your consciousness. Does any of that really matter? I'm sure you have thought about that and that's why you've chosen to study this subject. And if you haven't, and that's the first time you've asked yourself some of those big questions, then there's a lot more where that came from in philosophy and ethics. So we've made this little video to try and tell you a bit more about the subject. We're really looking forward to getting to know you and tackling some of these big questions together next year. In ethics, we like to think about lots of ethical questions. So for example, would you be happy to steal a loaf of bread if it was going to save your family's life? Or another one you might think of, would you be happy to sacrifice one person in order to save five other people? Or here, standing right next to this wonderful tree, would you be happy to either destroy a whole forest or kill one person? There's so many exciting things and questions to think about in a of ethics. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mr. Sales and I'm Head of Philosophy Police at Hazel School and we are super excited that you're going to come and join us to do your A-Level in September. Now with me, you study ethics and with ethics we look at all the ethical theories which are really exciting. We look at natural law, utilitarianism, camp, situation ethics and what you get to see is how you apply an ethical theory and you get completely different outcomes. So that's fascinating. We also apply ethics euthanasia and business ethics so what i would say for now is keep an eye out keep a record right down somewhere all the different businesses that have cropped up during lockdown and make a list of all the ones that have done positive things and all the ones that have done negative things or come up bad things from this and then when we get to business ethics we can examine and we can have a look at the impact it's had on their profits and their customer base um so we can't wait to have you which is really fascinating i pass it on to you mrs patterson thank you Hi everyone, so I'm Mrs. Patterson and I teach the philosophy paper of the A-level and in philosophy we look at things like um, the ancient philosophers, the people who started it all off, people like Socrates, Plato, Aristotle um, and then we come all the way up to modern philosophers, people who are still alive today and having these big discussions and debates. So the to sort of topics we look at are um, who are we, do we have a soul, is there any part of us that will live forever? Um, we talk about the existence of God, so I'll spend half of the year kind of convincing you that God must exist, and the other half of the year I'll tell you that there's no way God can exist uh, if the world is the way it is today. Um, there's some really good things that you could be doing over the summer to prepare yourselves for studying philosophy, and um, there's a lot of reading that you can do. When you come to Hayesfield, you'll have access to a whole host of books and, and magazines and journals to do with philosophy and ethics but there's loads of stuff that you can find online as well so there's a website called philosophical investigations we recommend that it's got loads of stuff to do with our syllabus and um, but there's also some films that you could just get into um, and look at the philosophical topics in those so um, i love the film <clears throat> inception that's got loads of stuff about are we really here how do we know what's real uh, the Matrix as well has similar sort of ideas. Um, the Life of Pi is a great one for arguing the existence of God. So why not just put a film on and look for the philosophical concepts in those? Hi, right, so the other subject that we study is Buddhism. So what we do, we take all the ethics of philosophy for two years, in year 12, and in year 13, we look at Buddhism. Now, it doesn't matter if you've never looked at Buddhism before, although if you have a time of summer, I would recommend doing some general reading because that are really helpful when we come to do it. We're very excited about Buddhism. Both me and Stefan study Buddhism in our degree courses, and it's a, it's a special subject for us, and we've been delighted with, with how well our, our students have done studying Buddhism. And we look at the history of Buddhism, we look at Buddhist activists, which is fascinating, and again, in this current situation, have a, have a look to the religious people and what they've done, and, and if they've done anything to make a statement. And I think you'll find some really interesting things, especially last week when we've been looking at people going on, on marches and, and peaceful protests. Have a, have a look through religious people there and that would be really helpful. But Buddhism, I think, is a fascinating topic and it's so different from all the other religions. It's so, so 
similar to the things that you look at in philosophy, we hope that you'll really, really enjoy it. Another reason that we study Buddhism at A-level is because we love um, being able to learn a bit more about philosophy from a different point of view. A lot of people um, say that Buddhism is not actually a religion, it's a philosophy. And we get to look at things like uh, meditation and mindfulness and where that really comes from. And of course we take every opportunity to have a go at doing that sort of thing ourselves. So you will come um, and join us and you'll learn uh, some mindfulness techniques um, some stuff about the history of meditation and how it started um, and we do like to try and get away um, and do a kind of revision retreat at the end of year 13 uh, in the last few years we've done that in school because we've got some lovely grounds um, that have enabled us to do that so some of the ways that we um, do our A level is that of course we have our normal lessons um, and then we will set you some um, independent reading that you need to complete as well um, but we also really value uh, you all having debate and discussion within the lessons. So our lessons are really interactive in the sense that we like you to um, be able to have an input. So it's important that you've done the reading so then you can come and share your ideas and your opinions on it. We also dedicate one hour in the fortnight to a seminar and that is something that's exclusively run by you as the students. We put you in groups of two or three so you can get to know uh, your classmates a little bit better. Uh, you are then responsible for doing the reading and planning some exercises to get everyone talking about them. 